Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 4th to the 10th of July 2022. So Neptune has recently turned retrograde and this is a very slow affair and will take us all the way through to the 3rd of December. Neptune is the ruling planet of Pisces and Neptune is in Pisces. So for any Pisceans out there, sun rising or wherever Pisces is in your chart, this is going to be a long and very soulful in a voyage. So Neptune, like a tuning fork, tunes us in to our cellular feeling, to our intuition, to what we can sense beyond the five obvious external senses. People say, I can feel it in my waters. And that's very much the energy that we're looking for here when something is a calling, when something feels magnetic, when there's no reason to use reason and to ask why but we just go with the flow when something feels right, appropriate, or pulling us in a certain direction. And during a retrograde, that direction will always be inwards. So we're going into the waters of the body, into the cellular intelligence, and the powers of our imagination will be heightened along with our intuition at this time. So we've been clearing up our own inner subconscious waters, and also many of us have been feeling past life remembrances, resonances, things coming to the surface for clearing so that we can live our lightest and free and most expanded expression. So those are the general themes, taking us back to our soul force, why we came here, what we feel strongly about, and escaping the limited rational mind that can sometimes stop us from following our dreams. So we can set intentions for retrogrades, Astrology has become very strong in these last couple of years. So why not set an intention from now to December to connect with your soul force energy, to listen more to your intuition, or to power up your imagination. And to help us do this, this week we've got Mercury moving into Cancer. So Cancer is another water sign and Mercury is the processing mind. So it plunges into the ocean, taking some of the sharp edges off those limitations and over rational constricting thoughts. This should be a real ally to Neptune retrograde to help us dream, to feel, to drift a while and to tune in much more deeply to our soul desires. At the beginning of this week too we have Mars moving into Taurus and this is a bit of an unstoppable force but we really need to make sure that we're not just rushing in to do things in the old way, forcing things through, coming from the control, the ego, lower forces because with the Neptune retrograde and with the help of Mercury and Cancer really we want to only act upon that which is deeply meaningful to us start to break the habits of over functionality doing for the sake of doing trying too hard or forcing things through so Mars will be in Taurus until late August as long as your heart fire and passion with Mars is in the right direction then we can start to produce and put some of our productive energy into something that's really worthwhile. So the energies this week are a little bit contradictory at first with all this soulful watery inward exploration and then Mars in Taurus wanting to push forwards. I feel the best way to balance these is to call in the energy of Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. So really Aquarius is about breaking free from the matrix and achieving sovereignty. So questioning the system, should I even have to work? What would it feel like if I didn't have to work? There we could use the Neptune retrograde imagination to harness the feeling, because if we can feel something, then we've already started to call it in. So before we go rushing ahead to rebuild the walls of our personal prison cells. It's worth harnessing the audacity of Aquarius, thinking way outside of the box. What would the ideal be, the free thinker, as we start to let go of limitations over responsibility and external attachments and goals? Then we can question the very setup that was there before and has kept us limited if we want to really achieve self-mastery. Because there's a sense here of not having to not having to try too hard, not having to push forwards, not having to over control, not having to think, not having to follow, not having to comply. 
So there may be moments over the summer where you can tune in and receive the spark of rebellion that Aquarius offers to really break down old models so that you're able to decide for yourself and place your energy where it's going to work for you. And like I say, it's through the imagination. If we can conjure something up and feel it, letting the over-rational mind step aside, then we can start to bring that into reality on a more magnetic way. And once we've felt something, we got a yardstick then on how to make decisions, what to measure against. So the feeling of if something right for me or not right for me, if we've imagined the ideal and captured that feeling, then when it comes to making a choice, you've actually got something to measure against, something to help you. Does this feel right? Is this the right tone for me? It's a really interesting combination. Neptune retrograde, stirring our soul force energy, cleansing our inner waters, firing up our imagination and learning to see ourselves as souls that have been here many times, didn't come here to conform to how things are in the current day. Tuning into our purpose, what did I really come here for? What feels right for me? What excites me? Then we can take Mars in Taurus and apply ourselves and to nourish and grow something of real value. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available, zoehind7 at gmail.com. It's a wonderful year to learn astrology intuitively and tarot as well. Teach them together with some numerology and other subjects. I can customise readings and courses for you to suit your time and budget and level. I also offer coaching to dig deep in any of the subjects that are coming up to help you remove blocks and limitations and align to what's truly right for you and apply the power of perfect timing. If you like these videos, please click the like button that helps it get out to more people and share with anybody that you feel would feel the value. I'm on Instagram, ZoeHind7, Facebook, AstroZo, and all of these videos and more are on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. And also, if you're having events over the summer, I'm very happy to deliver astrology and tarot to add a touch of magic to your event. So please do contact me for any of that. And those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.